Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am back from Venice and we are going to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I think it's week 40. Woohoo! Only 12 weeks to go. Well, that's quite a long time. But anyway, um, make it up as you go, that's what I say. Um, we are going to do uh, some faux washi tape. Uh, I know washi tape is Japanese, thank you for specifying that to me, someone. Um, I know what washi tape is. I'm making my version of it. So um, I've got my tracing paper. Now you could try vellum, you could try tissue paper, um, whatever you like, but I, I like the effect of the tracing paper. I've got Lulu's Ohuhu pens, um, markers I should say. Um, and I wanted to say that Lulu did a lot of research. Before we purchased these, she had seen uh, many artists um, showing these off um, and, you know, uh, reviewing them. And so that's why we purchased them. And they are very, very good. And what we're going to do is we're just going to um, take one sheet. It's just a regular sheet of um, paper. And we're going to do, start doing... Um, markings on it so i'm gonna oh this one's a bit pale but anyway i'll continue on i'm gonna do all different things so i've just put my book page there just to help me guide me a little bit um maybe trying to go straight sort of thing so just get your um these are alcoholic not alcoholic alcohol um markers is that what you call it not alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry, cracked myself up. Okay, that one's a bit pale, so let's try another color. So you can do them in shades as well. You can do them as wide as you want. I just moved my um, piece of paper over, and I might use this edge and and do... I'm going a bit pale, so I just want to give you a whole range of different markings that I like to do. And you'll need also... You'll need double-sided tape... Um, in in um oh gosh guys sorry different widths that's what i want to say so i'll show you that um so different widths of mask uh double-sided tape and wide medium small super wide like the carpet tape if you want to um and then you'll need tracing paper and it, you i mean to make your faux washi tape you can use anything really um, but we're doing it with tracing paper today. Well, I am. But yeah, I like the transparency of it. And then tomorrow I'll do a video, of course, showing how I might use it. So we might just keep on, keep on keeping on with the pinkies. And, um, and then I'll change colour. So what else can we do? We can do dots. And I like them to be uneven. Like not in rows, if you know what I mean. Like they're in rows, kind of wobbly rows but they're in rows and so any any type of so i'm using these um alcohol markers but really any mark making tool that you might like to use will do the job and really any type of marks i do like this color now you might get woozy, 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 head spinny with the smell of these markers after a while because they are a bit whiffy. And I've also got um, my brushes, my I've just got some water and a palette as well because um, we might try and do a little bit of acry acrylic sort of paint on as well see how that turns out that could be fun and then you might need some stamps because we might stamp as well so just carrying on from the the video last week really well let's do neon pink my sister will be very proud of me and i might do that in a grid now i'm a lefty i probably should have started it seems to dry pretty quickly though i should have probably should have started the other end of the page so I didn't have my hand going up and down 
on the what I just did, but I think it's already dry, so that's good. Actually, I like the stripes too. The lines, I should say, not the stripes. It's not an animal. Okay, so then to do my grid, I just go like this. So that's a wobbly grip. Grid, you could, um, you know, grab a ruler and do it perfectly straight if you wanted to. I like the randomness of things quite often. Lulu said to me she was thrilled that I used her her textures. We call them we used to call them textures when we were little. They're markets textures. You know the the ink based sort of ones that you, for coloring in, as opposed to pencils. So just show you all the different types of marking that I might think of doing. Um, I might grab this colour now and I might do something like this. Oh, that's a nice colour. Some leaves. At some point, you need sort of need to have an edging, if you know where to start and stop. If you know what I mean. That's why I'm holding the piece of paper there, so I know where my beginning and end is. I might have one and down here. great thing just to sit and mindlessly do at dinner I mean <laughs> can you imagine sitting doing this at dinner sorry oh you see I'm already going loopy it's I'll blame it on the textures um I mean in front of the tv is what I wanted to say after dinner put that one up there there we go and we might have yeah. hmm, feeling a bit peckish. My glasses, as usual, are closing my nose. That's why you might hear some heavy breathing. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. And then what else can we do? I might do, I might choose a different colour. Oh, I love this colour. I wonder if this one's going to be too pale. I'm going to do one a bit wider. You just keep on keeping on until you've um, finished your page. And then I'm going to go like this. Turn it around and do a thin line and then a thick line. And then a thin line. Oh, look, I'm turning. You see, that's why I needed to start at the other end. Silly me. I'll just put that there. That'll help because I, my hand has all gone pink. And I'm smudging it because it's not dry yet. And put another line down there. And then you could... Maybe I might not like it. It might be gross. Put dots. Daniel, broad line, wide line. And I might do, I'm going to do another line down there like that. It doesn't matter where it goes. Because it's very pale. I'm not worrying if it looks messy either. Because um, it's going to be used in little bits and pieces. Okay, I'll put 
that over the top. Might use this colour now. I'm going to do another botanical sort of thing. And it's fairly it's a fairly whizzy thing to do. Doesn't take too long. I've gone quiet, that's what happens when I'm having fun and concentrating. I'm going to have one going down here. Oh, that was a big one. So you just make it up as you go. So Gail had me giggling the, all the way through her video yesterday. She quite really cracked me up, Gail. It was funny. First of all, I nearly fell on the floor when Gail said she didn't have any tracing paper because Gail is the queen of craft supplies. And I was right there with her hubby, like surprised um, that she didn't have any tracing paper. So I hope you got some, Gail. I actually like the tracing paper more than the vellum. What I like about the vellum is that it's strong and resistant. It's like if you want to use it for pockets or that sort of thing. But otherwise, I quite like um, the tracing paper because it's thinner. And of course, we can do even... Let's do some dark grey. Let me think of something else that I could do. Probably not too much else comes to mind um, oh we could do some Let's put that there like that so I can define my space some rows of these and if you didn't want to do that, like the whole thing, you could do half of one type and half of another type. You could have them going that way as well. So you get a lot of strips of washi tape from this. It's very relaxing. So yes, we went to Venice. Um, the weather was beautiful. It was like cool in the morning, like 15, maybe 13 to 14 degrees in the morning. And so we had to sort of layer up and um, and then it was about 22 degrees during the day and the skies were crystal clear blue, really nice. Um, I love that type of weather. And so we basically went because normally um, my husband goes with his friend, with our friend. We normally go with our friends, but his, um, the husband is, he's an architect and he used to be Steph's boss, but he's our age. Um, and he's left where Steffi works and has his own little studio now. Um, and it, it's the Biennale of Architecture, so it's on every two years. And it wasn't on last year because of you know what. And we went the last time we went was 2018, Lulu um, told me, because she's got memory like an elephant. And so um, we normally drive there and we get on the car ferry and, and take the car over to Lido. Um, it's really, really easy just to go over to Lido with your car. And um, and 
you know, generally, I, we don't, we're not, we don't love the food in Venice. The food is not always great in Venice, and so um, I'm gonna do these like this. Uh, so we've quite often had bad meals in Venice. You do not eat the pizza in Venice. I don't know. I was just talking about that yesterday. Do do the Venetians eat? Do they know where to go and eat good pizza? Because Lulu ordered this pizza for lunch. Oh, they're kind of connecting. Doesn't matter. Um, she ordered this pizza for lunch and literally she didn't eat it. It was really revolting. And I've had pizza there before and it was revolting. So um, I'll tell you what's good in Venice is um, fish. Fish is very good. It's, um, you know, it's fresh. And so I ate a lot of fish. And uh, you need to sort of go not in the touristy you need to just sort of go out of out of the you know main center and move away from there and then there are some good places but my husband always uses TripAdvisor, and he always finds us really nice places to eat so that's one of the things about lido is um there's some quite nice restaurants and they're not overly expensive so we like that part of it and we like you know being getting up in the morning and getting the ferry across it's really fun so they went to the Biennale and we got up there. We didn't go, uh, get arrive until, you know, Thursday evening in time for dinner. And, um, and, uh, so Friday morning we got, you know, had breakfast and then got the ferry. So we're going to put that one aside. Isn't that pretty? And let that dry a minute. And now I'm going to grab the paints. Let's try the paints. Oh, wait, just a minute now. I'm just going to do one with that's not dark enough oh well it'll be all right I might get darker color sorry guys um so so um yeah so Friday we um they went to the Biennale and we Lula and I just literally we got off there's like this park so you go, you have like Piazza San Marco, and if you were to continue walking away from the station, so sort of up the island towards actually where Lido is, but they're not connected, obviously, because um, Lido is another island. Um, there's a park at the end of Venice, and so we, I got off the ferry there and we walked down, and I never look at the map. And I don't know, for some reason, keep turning right all the time in the little things. And I ended up on the opposite side on a, you know, not on the main canal. And so then we had to go back because I was totally off track. And uh, so Lulu knows it. She just she just goes with the flow and walks along with me. And we had a really nice time. We went over on the other side of the bridge and Steffi has found my phone. So he knows where I am. And he said to me, you're really far away from us. Are you going to come back and have lunch? So we had to walk like 40, 40 minutes to get back to where he was because I was on the on the other side where you would walk to go to the train station if you didn't get the ferry. And um, and then the, and then every so often the navigator would lose the internet connection. So Lulu and I were walking around in circles. I'm sure my husband was, Steffi was looking and highly entertained wondering why I, why I was walking around in circles but that's what I do in Venice I walk around in circles because everything looks the same anyway okay I've done that now we're going to get the paint let's do the paint right oh yes we'll get the paint okay so yeah so anyway we had a really nice time and then um our friend said uh, did we want to go oh here we go I've got my water get my palette and then I just need to grab my paints just one second I'm just going to use my Stamperia paints um, he asked me did I want to um, did I want to go and visit Burano I thought he said Murano we well, you know where they do the glass but um, he said Burano and I said, yes, I would love to do that. And so we went and had got the ferry. It was about nearly an hour from um, from uh, Lido. We were able to get a ferry right there. 
and um, I'm trying not to put too much water in the paint so I don't get curly whirly tracing paper. Oh, I like the paint. So yeah, so we did that uh, and it was just so much fun. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Really, really, really enjoyed it. And um, except for Lulu not having the good pizza. It was terrible. And I forgot to tell her don't order pizza. I did see there was like a pizza restaurant. So I wondered whether their pizza might be better. Um, I don't recommend, I haven't had a good pizza in Venice. So I don't, I do recommend uh, looking on TripAdvisor when you go there to find yourself the best places to eat. And that doesn't mean the most expensive places. It just means the ones that do better food. Okay, so here we might do this. This will take a bit longer, obviously, than just um, using the, the markers. I'm doing some colouring in here. I have no idea how this um, paint painted one is going to turn out, but we'll see. And I'm... I'm using my brain and I've started on the right hand side because I'm a lefty and so I won't get my hands in it. It'll have the opportunity to to dry. I might have this come down here. So I don't have too much water in my colours because you know the I don't think the tracing paper would like it. I probably should turn it around. Of course, you don't have to paint if you don't want to. I don't think you could use um, watercolours with these. I don't think that would be the go. You kind of get the gist of the types of things. I'm going to put on there. Just filling in sort of places where I see gaps. Whoops. I also need to keep track of the time because I have to go and pick up Madam. So this weekend, I think you're always going away. We're not really. It's just this weekend we are going um, to Modena just for one night. Um, Steph's best friend lives there. He's Mo. He always comes down and stays with us in the summertime. And, he, and we haven't been for years. It's only like an hour and 15 minutes from here. Same region. And it's a really lovely place to visit. Beautiful. There's a beautiful Duomo there. It's very a lovely Duomo. Um, and really lovely um, sort of boutiques and places to eat and things. And, we, and, you know, we were going up there a few times a year because he always comes and stays with us and he's always asking us, come and come up to Modern and we just stay with him. We're not staying in a hotel or anything like that. Um, but we go and have a nice aperitivo and um, that sort of thing. It's a lovely town to visit, as I said. And it's very famous for um, balsamic vinegar. In fact, our other friend, she's from Modena as well, and her mum makes it. And it's, it's I mean, it's literally like liquid gold in, in the sense that it's uh, very thick, the, you know, the authentic stuff. And it um, ages. It has to age for many, many years. So that's why it's so expensive. And she gives us a little bottle of her mum's balsamic vinegar um, at Christmas. She gives it to everybody. And I can't tell you how small the bottle is because that's how, how precious the vinegar, the, the vinegar, the, yeah, the vinegar is. The aceto. Now I'm looking for, what am I looking for? I wanted to see if I had, I might have to pause the video if I don't. No, I could try and use that. Oh, what about this? Let's use this one. But I also wanted to use... I wanted to use a... 
talking about, but I'll have to go and get one. I don't have one in there. I did have one, but I can't see where it is. I might do this one wider. Just to use up the colour. I should have my... Try not to put them too much in a line, in a row, if you know what I mean. I like them to be random. So any mark making tools are fun. That one's in a row. Just squeeze them in wherever. Doesn't matter if they're not full circles. We want the painterly effect. Try and get two sheets done. And then I'll show you what I'll do. And then I'll do that off camera. And then, I might have just a bit more there. Okay, that's that. That was quick. My tummy's rumbling. Um, okay, let's change colour. What kind of colours did I bring over? Oh, navy blue. I like a bit of navy blue. Put some of that out. Just give it a shake. Oh, didn't mix. See how it's watery? It just needs to, to mix. So obviously the painted ones are going to be a bit more textural. Um, let me see here. I wanted to see. I'm sure I had one. Just a sec. I have one. Here we go. This is what I want. You can get nice little... I should pull my sleeve up. I don't want to get paint on my... Mm, it's not very well mixed. See how quick it is too with the paint. went into the pink so similar markings really to the to the markers except you can't use this with the markers I love navy blue I'm just gonna make it messy I don't want it all to be too okay good that's that now what I wonder what this would do let's see what mark does that do how about if I went like this oh no that doesn't work I just think when you use a little piece of this underneath something, you probably look fine. So you're just experimenting a bit and then you can pull it too. Oh, I like that. Just have no fear. It's just a piece of paper. Chuck it in the bin if you don't like it. I like that. Now, put that down. What else? Um, I seem to have picked up this brush. Let's see what I can do. I also like this sort of thing. Might go this way for a change. Not quite dots. They're just really dashes. Now, that was very thick. I'll come back and take some of that paint off. That'll take a while to dry. It's 
yeah, so tracing, uh, not track. this is tracing paper. I mean, I was going to say um, I'd probably like tissue paper as well. I've got some tissue paper. Maybe we can do that later in the week or I can do some. You don't need to see the mark making, a million videos of mark making. So I could just um, do those and show you what they turn out like and use them. Unless you're making like a pocket or something like that, it's it is. If you're making these things for embellishing, it is nice to see how they might be used. I'm just going to do one more. Oh gosh, stomach! It's hungry. Okay, I'm getting messy now. Okay, let's change color. Oh, what about the paint pens? We can use the paint pens, the paint markers. Well, actually, do you know what? I'm going to come back here to these. How dark is this one? How dark that is. Lily said to me, Mum, you should, should have used my... Um, I'm going to colour this in. I'm not going to go near my blue bit. So that little little white area there will be wasted. I'll just do a bit more there. Okay. Go a bit thicker here. Um, and let's do I wonder what this colour's like. Oh, that's very dark that one I don't oh I might do it do I want something that dark I don't think I do what about this one it's very red brown maybe I have to do that what's this one I think I used this one already oh no that's oh that's the dark one anyway I'll use the dark one um I'm gonna color that one in as well it's not that dark The nice things about these um, alcohol markers is they um, they do blend quite well. I'm just going to end it off there like that. Okay. So I'm going to get my paint pin. Might even come over into the brown where it's dry already. I might just do some different sections in different colours with different patterns just to see how it turns out. So pink on pink on brown is nice. We'll do it on the yellow as well. And I did try out some samples. That's not showing up very well, so we'll get a different colour. I did try out some some samples of these. Oh, look at that. Oh, I really like that. I think I'm going to finish off with the purple. The purple is better than the pink. So Burano is really interesting. I have to have a look up on what, what the history of Burano is. It's apparently for, you know, they're famous for their lace. But I did see a lot of very shiny Chinese looking lace there. I don't know. 
Um, I didn't get to really um, go in and look in any too many shops or anything like that. So I'm not quite sure. But um, but it was it's all colourful. I don't know if any of you saw my Insta story that it's all coloured coloured buildings, really colourful. So it's very very interesting and fun to walk around. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. I'm going that one will dry, but I wanted to show you um, what I'm going to do next. So what I do next is I'm going to get my wide one here, and you're just going to get your washi tape. It's a bit a bit laborious. I'm going to stand up actually, and you just put it along there to the end and then cut it off I may have to trim the ends off so I can fit two wide ones on there and just lay them on I'm sure you've seen many videos of people making faux washi tape with you know other things um, this is my take on it I want to put that one there and then I'm going to put a narrow one So I'll just do the wide tape first and then I leave gaps. Oh, I wanted to do one more thing before I get when I get down to the end here. Sorry, got some thread there. On this um, bottom one here, I wanted to do something else on it as well. So I need to show you that as well. Although I could put my tape on it. I'll, I'll put my tape on it, then I'll cut them all out, and then um, and then I can show you. What I'm going to do. See, I didn't get it right to the end there, but that's that's all right. It's not the end of the world. Put that one there. I need to go to the end further. I'm wasting that little bit. I could fit a wide one in there. Oh, why don't I just do that? We'll get a bit of the stripe on there as well. And then here, and then I'll put a narrow strip. So the other one needs to dry before we can get the full effect of it. And I'll put my wide one there. You could use your gold um, paint pen as well. That would be cool. Now that's good. It's a little bit too wide for that. So let's put this back on here. And this is just El Cheapo um, double-sided tape. I'm going to have a bit of wastage, but it doesn't matter. So it's quite an inexpensive project. Like the materials are. Once you've bought your Ohuhu pencils or pet tap markers or whatever, and, or you've got your paints or whatever you're using, it's not an expensive exercise. And we'll put that one there. I don't have a super skinny one. Oops. Sticking to me. I can fit that one there. I need a narrow. Let me just see. I've got this narrow, slightly narrower one here. Let's see if I can fit two of those in there. That's why I'm saying different widths too. I guess it doesn't. Re no, they're not going to overlap. Perfect. Look at that. It doesn't really matter if they overlap because then the next job is to cut them. So all you do is you come here and trim them down like that. So you get the surprise. It's a surprise. Just like when I flip my collaging over and I cut it out, it's a surprise. You get a surprise here. Now I'm just going to snip that bit off. I'm not going to worry about it because I kind of want to go as flush as I can with my double-sided tape. So 
So literally, you know how people make the faux old st sticky tape? You could colour it in on your tracing paper and, and um, not have to go through a whole process. And it could look like old um, sticky tape. I'm just dropping them down and then I'll, we'll have a look at them. Just cut them quickly. And then you have unique designs that are yours. So I'm just doing a very quick job. I'm not even being careful here just so I don't keep you here for too long. So just cut between your washi, your, not your washi, your sticky tape. We're making pretend washi, it's pretend. Okay, now this last bit, I'm not gonna cut it yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim off the excess here, which is a shame, but it doesn't matter. Okay, this one, before I do any, oh, we'll look at those in a sec. Before I go any further, I wanted to grab, if I can find it quickly, I'll just grab this one here, the number, the number one that I used last week. And I'm going to grab my big block. And what colour will I use? I don't want green. Maybe I'll use, is that the grey? No, that's jet black. Whoops. Now it's sticking there, you see? I've got to trim those bits off. These bits here that are overhanging need to be trimmed off because otherwise they'll stick to everything. Okay. And I'm going to grab, if I can find it, here it is. I'm going to use the grey, I think. And I'm just going to I'll just put it on here so I don't everywhere stamp it you can stamp it with whatever you like doesn't matter you could even stamp it when you've stuck it down on your book so I'll leave that I'll let that dry and um, and then I will cut it out so I'll have to show you that afterwards I'm letting the other one dry that one with the paint needs to dry as well and then then I can show you those as well I'll put the tape on and when I come back on the video you'll be able to see that so let's just look at these so that's that one needs to be well I could I could blot it how about I blot it and then I'll be able, might be able to pick it up okay okay should be able, I'll just hold it like that Okay, so there's my faux washi there. There's that one, a narrow one. So here we look how cool that is. There, this one. Wide grid, narrow grid. there so these are all the ones that we've done here oh, I love that and then I need to show you those ones but I think they are yes they're still wet so I might go and collect Lulu and then I'll stick the tape on those and then I'll come back and I'll attach the two videos together and then I'll show you um, how you know how transparent they are so I'll be back soon okay Bye. so I'm back it's a few hours later I went and did my shopping, picked up Lulu. I've got sticky stuff all over my scissors. I'll have to clean those. So I've just um, stuck on the 
uh, double-sided tape to the painted ones. They were a little bit crinkly, but uh, just so to show you what they look like. Um, this one. I like that one in the thin strip. This one here. Love that. That's really cool. I'm going to do more of that. I'll probably hoard it. Look at that. I think that's really yummy. And then some stripes. That's the circles, the painted there. That one. Really like the painted ones as well. And those ones as I should have another piece of that somewhere. Where did it go? Oh here. There it is. And then the the other other one. So I thought I might just quickly show you before we end off the video. Um tomorrow I'll do something with them. Um but before I end, I'm getting hot now. Before I end off the video, I thought I'd show you <coughs> kind of what they can look like. So I'm just trying to find something. Here we go. I've got this. This is like meant to become a little pocket. So for example, I could just choose one. You can even tear it if you want the torn look. And then you just peel off your backing, which sounds easier than what it is sometimes. And look at that. It's just like a washi tape. Stick it down and there we go. How cool is that? I love that. Oops, I've got some more here. Let's just try and try another one. Got this one. Could have some green maybe. Green would be nice. Not that colour. Oh yeah, maybe a piece like that. So just use it as you would your washi tape. So much fun. There are other things you can do. Like I was, I watched um, Rose Rose Paper Hill. Um, does anyone watch her? I love her, her what she makes, and um, and she did a whole video on making your own washi, where she. Um, she did all kinds of things, all different things. So, I mean, the obvious choice there is blue, but I do quite like this. I think I'll put that one on there. Um, yeah, uh, and like she did things with, with invoices and stuff like that um, with the double-sided tape everywhere. Do I want it like that maybe? No, I think I'll have it going across. I really do like it. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's just a t uh, carry on from last week. Last week was more embellished bits. Oh, I'll show you, sorry, my samples. I did give it a go first. Oh, that, that was just one I drew on. I didn't put any tape on the back and I just stamped on it. But that would be, I might put some tape on that one. That I did one with, with different sized stripes. Um, these were the ones I just tried out last week to see how it would look how it would work so yeah really love it and you can just get a whole collection going of course I still use my bought ones I still love my bought ones but um but you know then I've got handmade ones as well which are really I think is a nice thing to add and then and so I'm just going to keep them all in here here we go this is something I've done this was a painted um under sheet that I had and I just cut some of it into washi tapes. And I've used, you might have seen that peekaboo somewhere before. Because I've used that. And then that was last week's, which I love. And it's transparent as well, as you know. Um, but it's just embellished. And I've seen washi tapes, not exactly with these embellishments. But I've seen, I've seen this, you know, mixed sort of washi tapes with embellishment on them. Um, I can't think if I bought one. Oh, and the other thing I thought you could do, which I tried last week, is you could also get one of these. Sorry, let's do that now. You could also get your, where's my really thick, I don't know how much I've got left of this one. You could get this and put this on here. 
and cut that into washi tape strips as well, which I thought would be fun. So I've just trim that off. Get guess what I didn't show you. Get this and just run that along there just to make sure it sticks down properly, and then you cut it, and you get some more different strips. So you can have this already ready to go, or it can be for collaging. Oh, look at that. Now I have seen washi tapes with that sort of thing on them. So this is faux, it's not meant to be exactly washi tape, otherwise you wouldn't, you just buy it, wouldn't you? But you can create your own spin on it. And you use it like you would use your washi tape. I love that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Sorry guys. Not that side, Rachel. Oh, that's finished. So we'll do thinner ones. That's That one's ended. I need to buy some more. <clears throat> so I put that one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me while I choke. And I would like that one to, for, uh, to do the wide one on that one. So I might have to see if I've got any more. Otherwise, I'll have to buy some more wider tape. So I'll trim that one off. So it's nice torn or cut. Look at that. How cool is that? I really like that. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll put some photographs at the end of the video. I'll just sort of line them up like so. That one doesn't have any sticky on it. And um, just super fun things to play with, I think. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again. I was going to say I'll see you next week. The way you'd all faint if I said I would see you next week because that would mean there'd be no more videos this week. Um, so... I'll see you tomorrow, is what I will say, unless I have some some sort of glitch, like does happen sometimes. Um, I will see you tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.